Star Wars Squadrons is coming out in just less than one and a half months. For some, it'll be a great game to play with friends and relax. Others will want to hone down their skills and have the best squadron team going. But for others, it's all about immersion and feeling like you're an actual pilot in a starfighter. We've covered VR in a previous video, but today we have something even better to show you. Imagine the ability to talk with your astromech in the back of your ship and have it actually talk back to you. Mix that with VR and a suitable HOTAS joystick, it would be like you're actually there. Today we're introducing you to Droids, a voice pack being made for Star Wars Squadrons and Voice Attack, a voice recognition application. But before I get into more details, my question of the day for you guys are, are you actually going to be using a keyboard, controller or HOTAS for Star Wars Squadrons? For me, I know for sure I won't be using a keyboard, which does sacrifice quick, precise reactions, but I might actually look at picking up a Steam controller if I can. Leading my shots with movements with the thumb might be a bit better than analog stick on a controller. But what about you? Let me know in the comments down below. We read all of them and try to get back to some of you too. But with that out of the way, back to droids. As mentioned, Droids is a voice pack for voice attack that is primarily to be used with Star Wars Squadrons. It allows you to shout things such as full power to rear shields and your astromech confirming your command and immediately doing that for you, saving you from having to go through the necessary inputs to do it yourself, leaving you more time to focus on the action in front of you. Not only that, you can also control every aspect of your ship with your voice by customizing your very own unique questions and commands. The pack comes with three different profiles, Imperial, Rebellion and R2-D2 specific. BB-8 and Chopper profiles will be added in a later date, so this covers every faction and then some, and better yet, is expected to release free of charge on September 24th, 2020, giving you a few weeks to prepare before the release of Squadrons on the 2nd of October. The pack takes sound files of the droids and astromechs from Star Wars movies and shows and layers them on top of your gameplay experience, meaning that you know you're getting the most authentic Star Wars experience when using this pack. There's a voice pack for Elite Dangerous as well on voice attack, and judging by how many commands you have there, you probably could control everything with your voice in Squadrons, which is great for players who require further accessibility. Better yet, creative director Ian Fraser recently tweeted out his use of playing Squadrons in VR with HOTAS and voice commands and believes you are all in for a treat. But some of you might be thinking, why do I need to use droids? I can just use my controller. Whilst yes, that is a valid reason, I'd say the benefits come from two main points. Further immersion for the casual player and VR players. Some who use a headset won't have any visual feedback on their controller or HOTAS, let alone where their hands and fingers are positioned 100% of the time. This is where droids can come in to provide that important full control over your fighter as well as all its capabilities. For me, I think vocal reactions would have a far easier learning curve than more arbitrary cryptic button inputs. You're vocalizing your exact need in that moment and it can deliver exactly what you need whilst you're focused on maneuverability, aiming and positioning. Whilst I do want to master the controls for my fighter, I do believe this makes things a lot easier to become a better player faster and I feel like I'm actually in the game. Besides, a lot of immersive gameplay doesn't really focus on vocals because of its complexity, but for squadrons it's perfect as everything is command based rather than complex conversation with AI. So droids isn't standalone. As mentioned earlier, it's a voice pack plugin for an application called Voice Attack, which handles all your voice recognition and macro control when you say certain commands like launch Spotify or launch squadrons. But this is just scratching the surface of what Voice Attack can do. It's not exactly related to today's topic, so if you wish to read more about it, head on over to Voice Attack's website in the description down below. If you're worried about things being too confusing or complex to install, fear not, as the team behind Droid's Voice Pack will be creating a fully fledged tutorial to install it. But do take note, voice attack is not free. You can get a trial with very limited amounts of commands under one profile. But other than that, it's $10 for a lifetime license. Okay, I get it. So I can understand there's some of you that don't really want to dish out any more money than you already have for squadrons. So I didn't want to leave those people empty handed. Another alternative is VoiceBot. It allows you to type out certain sentences and assign them to a macro. Unfortunately, you are limited to three macros per command, which may not get you the complex functionality and doesn't have all the features of a droid talking back to you. But it does have five profiles, allowing you to have Republic or Empire when playing. And if you're able to go premium, I just recommend going back to Voice Attack specifically for the Droid plugin voice pack. 
But that does wrap up our video for today. So are you thinking of trying out the voice attack method of gaming for Star Wars Squadrons? I will definitely be picking it up alongside VR just to get in with that full immersion. But for higher level play, I'm not sure. It really depends on the voice command to action delay. And of course, a big thanks to the developers who are working on this awesome pack. Their socials to follow when the voice pack will be released is linked in the description and pinned comment below. But before I go, I wanna ask you guys the question of the day again, which is, are you going to be using a keyboard, controller, or HOTAS for Star Wars Squadrons? Let me know down below. And if you're looking for further X2 perks, I totally recommend our new Patreon. We just released our first newsletter ever of the month, and we're actually giving it out for free for everyone. So if you wanna check that out, head on over to our Patreon page in the pinned comment and description, or in the top right of this video. But other than that, I have been Charlie, you've been watching X2, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.